Greetings one and all to universes. In this show we will analyze the stats, weapons, and abilities of two fighters to see who would win in a battle to the death. Many people have predicted the outcome, so let's see who guessed right and who guessed wrong. And be sure to stay tuned after the episode so you can see the next fighters and make your predictions down in the comment section below or in a video response. And who knows, your comment or video response could be featured in the very next episode. With all that said, let's meet our two fighters. Kirby, the legendary Star Warrior, and Pops, the naive man from Lollyland. Looks can be deceiving, and these two are no exception. They may appear to be adorable circular softies who wouldn't hurt a fly, but in reality they're horrifying death machines. So let's see which death machine is the most deadly. De deathable de de dead like de this is universes. Cute, cute, cute. Flowers are cute. Kittens are cute. Marshmallows are cute. Kirby kind of looks like a marshmallow. Is he cute? <laughs> nope. Yeah, he's a smooth, round, puffy ball of cute noises, and he's one of my mains in Smash, and he even has cute little red feet. But did you know that he's also a mass murderer? You know, mass murderers usually aren't the size of my hand, but Kirby fits the position on a massive scale. Kirby is a little baby star warrior who's always ready to protect his kingdom of dreamland on the planet Popstar. You'd normally think a tiny little guy like Kirby would have some trouble filling those shoes, but he's got some fancy and quite terrifying ways of getting the job done. So I said Kirby was a mass murderer, right? But he kinda does it backwards. He gets his murder weapon by killing his victims first. You see, Kirby's soft, round, plush body is great for all kinds of things. Rolling, flying, and even inhaling. Kirby can open up his mouth and inhale giant objects with great force. If these objects turn out to be enemies, Kirby can steal and copy their abilities to use for himself. He can even store these abilities inside of his stomach dimension to use whenever he wants so he won't have to swallow the same enemy over and over again. Some of the powers he can get includes fire, ice, lightning, and all kinds of other elemental manipulation abilities. He can create bombs, he can create several clones of himself, and with the time beam he can even trap his foes in an area of stopped time to freeze them. He can copy and steal weapons as well. Martial arts abilities with Fighter Kirby, Hammer Kirby, Sword Kirby. He can even extend and enlarge his sword to extreme sizes for the most destruction. These powers are super great and all, but if he takes one bad hit, it's right back to base Kirby. Luckily, he has a fancy tool that can help him out when he doesn't have anything to copy. It's a little light speed V vehicle that he can even create with his own power called the Warp Star. With this speedy little star, Kirby is able to travel from the galaxy's end to planet Popstar in a short amount of time. The amount of time wasn't stated, but even if we lowballed it to taking several minutes or even several hours, it would still be over hundreds of times the speed of light. Kirby is strong enough to punch a gigantic crack into planet Popstar, he can defeat Dark Nebula who's able to create supernovas, he can spit things out hard enough to push back a gigantic wave that was about to swallow an entire universe, and Hypernova Kirby increases his inhaling ability to ridiculous levels. He's able to defeat Meta Knight, King Dedede, and all different sorts of cosmic beings. Despite his small size of 20 centimeters, his experience of over 200 years has prepared him quite well for any type of situation. He can even take planet-sized explosions without a scratch on that round circular body. And that was without any of his durability enhancing powers, like how he can transform into a rock. Kirby has saved Dreamland countless times and will do it countless times more. Keep an eye out for this little pink-eating demon. Hmm, you've had a stressful day. Maybe you had a fight with a friend, maybe your boss yelled at you too loud. Where do you go to relax? Some would say the beach. Some would choose to just chill out and nap at home. But my favorite way of blowing off steam is a nice long walk in the park. Parks are normal. Parks are calm. Nothing weird or irregular ever happens at parks, right? I mean, they especially don't do things like fly into space inside of a rocket-powered dome. Well, this regular old park did with its regular old occupants. One of these people goes by the name of Pops. He may seem like just a jolly old-timer who loves to chase butterflies and enjoys life. Well, he is. But he's definitely the most irregular of the crew, as it turns out he's some kind of deity from the planet called Lollyland. And every 14 billion years, he and his brother Antipops battle for the fate of the universe. What a twist! Now that may seem like a pretty hefty task for someone like Pops, but trust me, he has the arsenal for the job. After being shot up into space, Pops began to develop some abilities. The first of these revolved around mental powers like telekinesis. This telekinetic power is strong enough to lift several fully grown people or even rearrange molecules to liquefy solid objects. He can talk to others with his mind, he can teleport, or he can even create a powerful barrier out of his positive energy alone. He can fly, he can turn invisible, and he's even an expert in martial arts. And finally, he has reality 
mind warping abilities of creation. He's able to conjure up just about anything that he can think of, and he can even restore things that have been erased from existence. Despite how deadly and dangerous all of these powers look, Pops is still the jolly, kind hearted man that we've come to know and love. In fact, his positive energy alone is so great that he can suppress and contain the powers of others with a hug. But if you somehow manage to make Pops angry, then prepare for a painful world of unbelievable hurt. Pops will transform into an incredibly powerful celestial being that's the size of hundreds of planets. And thanks to this size, Pops is able to casually bash through planets with ease. He can even punch so hard it creates a whole new solar system. And at his absolute fullest power with a single punch, Pops is able to not only destroy the universe, but recreate it along with resetting the entire 14 billion year timeline. Even in base form, Pops is still powerful enough to drill through the center of planets. And he's still capable of tackling anti-Pops in his 100 planet sized celestial form. Pops is even able to break the fourth wall with montage powers. He can teleport multiple people with screen wipes and even move around inside of a void that he created himself. A void is just an empty, well, void. There is no space, there is no time. Being able to move in a place like that makes it more than easy to see how he's fast enough to outpace a black hole. He's able to take several punches from Anti-Pops who's as strong as Pops himself. And his barrier is able to block beams from Anti-Pops which are strong enough to not only destroy things but erase them from existence. Not bad for the naive Jolly Lollipop man, but let's see how he fares against a different opponent. Let's take a look at your predictions while I calculate the results. Cool, no key for folks. I'm actually wanting to do a little, little bit of a different prediction. Probably still going to be the same outcome, but I want to go in a little more detail with you badasses. And I want to see, you know, which one you all like better, this one or the shorter one. Just be a little longer. I just want to go a little more into detail for all you badasses. As you can see, it's still my prediction for Kirby versus Pops, okay? Now, guys, everybody, first off, I want to talk about Pops, okay? I do get he's a Toon Force character. I get that Toon Force um, definitely has its, has its perks, okay? He's powerful, he's very durable because of the Toon Force, but a lot of times, like with these certain characters, it's a little more inconsistent. Toon Force in its own is inconsistent, but but these guys, like, on the regular show and, like, from the Adventure Time, I'm not dogging on them, but they're not as high-level Toon Force as guys like Bugs Bunny, Mickey Mouse, for example. Crazy, you know, they do a lot of crazy stuff. And they overcome a lot of a lot of people's favorite anime characters because of that Toon Force stuff. But I'm thinking guys like Kirby and Mario are just kind of a good trump card and a good counter for these particular types of Toon Force characters. You know, for example, like Kirby does have the absorption ability, kind of you know, where he absorbs you in, he obtains one of your skills or abilities, so to speak. Uh, he's very durable in his own right. He actually. From a lot, all his his feats in his own right, he can be scaled to solar system level, folks. I mean, he's moving. He's very very fast, extremely fast. I mean, he, if he actually, and inside of him, after he absorbs you, it's basically its own pocket dimension, so to speak. I mean, it, he's a crazy character too. I'm not dogging on pops for anyone who thought I was for real. I'm not. I'm just. He, I get the Toon Force thing. I mean, I've seen Gumball beat Kid Goku, okay? So, <laughs> but I'm thinking Kirby is a trump card. In my opinion, I'm thinking with all Kirby's, you know, abilities and all-around power and all that good stuff, durability, I'm thinking he can trump Pops, okay? It's going to be a good match, and Pops could win because of, the, because of that Toon Force. But I'm just going with Kirby all the way, folks. So let me know what you think down below. Leave a like if you like this one more than the other one. As always, have a blessed day. Shout out to Leopold the Brave for the best, one of, basically one of the best versus series on YouTube. One of the best I've seen yet, universes. As always, have a blessed day. Corn O'Keefe out. Peace. Hey. Hey, guys. Aaron Fuller back, back again. Here to bring you a pre prediction for a universes battle as you can see it is Kirby from Nintendo versus Pops from regular show hmm you may be asking yourself 
In my, in my opinion, who do I think will win? In my opinion, I think the winner would be Kirby. Because Kirby, he's... He may look, he may look cute and innocent, but he's really not. He's, fuck, he's fucking strong as hell. He can destroy a planet, he can crack a planet with one punch. Mm, if if he absor absorbs Pops, then um, he just gets... I know Pops is like universal with all his Toon Force and shit. But if, if Kirby can absorb Pops, I just think it's game over for Bob. Pops. His powers will just be used against him. So that's what that's what I think. So I think I think Kirby, I think Kirby would win. Because Kirby is just superior in every way. I don't have to, I don't have to admit this match is a lot closer than I thought it would be. But in my opinion, Kirby, Kirby gets the win. So my my vote's going to Kirby and. Leopold the Brave, if you're watching this, please use this video. Goodbye, goodbye, and I think Kevin will win. Peace out. And the results are in. The winner is... Pops! Wow, you guys were really hyped for this one. So many votes on the poll in such a small amount of time. You guys were all over each other too, so let's dive right into it. Both Pops and Kirby are at insane levels of power despite their cutesy appearances. Kirby was strong enough to push back a gigantic wave that was powerful enough to destroy an entire universe. However, not only did it take Kirby several shots to do this, but it wasn't even permanent. That same wave came right back as soon as Kirby managed to escape. As for Pops, he can destroy and recreate not just the universe, but time itself as well. Being able to pull off a punch like that puts Pops at a completely different dimension of power that would even put Goku and Beerus' universe punches to shame. Kirby Kirby can survive explosions that destroy solar systems and planets. But Pops can block rays from anti-Pops that don't just destroy things but erases them from existence entirely. Not to mention solar system level punches are something Pops can do casually. And it's not too often when size actually matters in a versus debate because after all, Superman could beat a T-Rex, but in Kirby's case it matters a lot. Kirby is only 20 centimeters while Pops in his celestial form is the size of over 100 planets. Not even Hypernova Kirby is gonna have a big enough mouth to swallow that. Not to mention Pops has more than enough speed to escape Kirby's suction as he can barrel through planets in seconds and even escape the pull of a black hole. Now Kirby does have time manipulation abilities which would normally work against any other opponent, it's just not Pops. Pops was able to create and move inside of a void. Inside of a void there's no space and no time. Kirby stopping time would do absolutely nothing to Pops. What good is stopping time against someone who can move at extreme speeds in an area where the concept of time doesn't even exist? Now it is true that Kirby indeed does have a longer and wider arsenal with all of his copy abilities. But the things Pops can do with the few abilities he does have completely outmatches it. What are Fire Kirby, Sword Kirby, Hammer Kirby gonna do against someone who can conjure up fireballs with reality warping or even create gigantic ocean liners? This isn't some level of Toon Force that we can blame it on either. These are Pops' actual for real abilities. Abilities that Kirby just won't be able to copy. The winner is Pops. <laughs> he is ready. <laughs> Good show. Get ready for the next battle. Oh, you did